What's up pizza punks? It's Missy and today we're gonna be talking about something that I get asked all the time and that is are my earlobes ever going to rip? So anytime I post a video about my earlobes or just a video in general, I get at least 75 comments or more of people telling me that my earlobes are going to rip off of my head, they're going to snap in half, or they're just going to just fall apart somehow if I touch them. And, um, no. <laughs> I want to know who told these people that, that your lobes are like paper thin tissue paper that's just gonna rip off my head. I don't know where they get this information from, but it's wrong. Very wrong. So we're just gonna be talking about how my earlobes are not gonna rip. <laughs> so the skin on your earlobes is no different than the skin on any other part of your body. They are very elastic-y, that's why they're able to be stretched very easily, but just like any part of your body, your skin doesn't just rip if you touch it. It would take a lot of force to rip my earlobes. Now, could my earlobes snap? Yes. Does it happen? Yes. Just like any piercing, things can go wrong and your earlobes could rip, but it could also happen to people that just have normal pierced ears. I've only ever seen two people in real life that had their earlobes ripped. I worked with a kid and then I just seen a guy at the grocery store the one day with his earlobe ripped. It's very disgusting, I will admit that. It's just two pieces of skin hanging like this on your earlobe. So the kid I did work with told me though, he got his ears scalpeled, which is a surgical procedure where you go in and have your ear cut open and sewed to a certain size. And he said that about three months after that happened, he got into a fight with someone who ripped on his earlobe very violently and it ripped and he said that he thinks the only reason why that happened was because they were scalpeled and they weren't quite as strong or thick as somebody that just manually stretched their ears. Is that the case for everybody that has their ears scalpeled? Probably not. Some people's earlobes are different but that's just what happened to him. Now I didn't go have mine surgically stretched. I did mine manually so my earlobes are extremely thick. The skin on my earlobes as you can see that is all my earlobe. That is about probably a half an inch thick. I actually have a video talking about how I keep my ears so thick and healthy. If you want to check that out, there'll be a link somewhere over here. So I'm actually going to take my plugs out to show you guys how thick my earlobes are and to tug and pull on them to show you that they're not going to rip just by touching them. If you're squeamish, if you don't like stretched ears and somehow still made it this far into the video, or you just don't want to see naked earlobes, just click off this video and go watch something more friendly for you. Probably like about fuzzy kittens or something. That's not what you're about to see. So, gave you the warning. You still have time to click off of it. We're taking them out. One, two, and three. So during the time of me playing with my earlobes, they might turn red. That doesn't mean that they're infected. It doesn't mean that they're going to rip in half. It doesn't mean that they're irritated. It's just that the blood is flowing through my earlobe, which has been stretched out all day. I'm actually gonna get a little bit closer to the camera so you can see, and hopefully this is in focus. Sorry, it's like really weird lighting. So here's my earlobe. I kind of showed this when I took out my plugs in that one video, but this is how thick they are. Do you see how thick the skin is? It's a very thick skin. This would take a lot to rip. There's people that wear weights in their ears and their ears don't rip. Nothing I'm doing is hurting me. This doesn't hurt whatsoever. If my stretched ears or doing this hurt, I wouldn't be doing it. I actually don't even feel this. It just feels like a little bit of pressure. It kind of just feels like someone going like this on your ear. These are not getting ripped anytime soon, so you all can quit telling me that my earlobes are gonna rip because they're not. They're not going anywhere. Here's proof that my earlobes are not gonna rip off my head or snap in half. They're not going anywhere. See how they're turning red a little bit now? It's because the blood's flowing through them and I'm like tugging the hell out of them. So does that answer anyone's questions or concerns that my earlobes are going to rip off my head? Because they're not going to. I don't even think if I got into a fight they would rip off. <laughs> if I have these in, I would just chuck at someone before they got time to pull on my earlobes honestly and this would knock them the fuck out and if i miss i got another one so give me a second to get this put back in this is how you put your plugs in by the way to anybody wondering. So no, my earlobes are not going to rip. They're never going to rip. So everyone could quit worrying. Everyone could quit freaking out because they're not going to rip. This is extremely thick skin. It would take a lot to actually rip them. Hopefully this has solved a lot of problems, got rid of some concern, answered some questions. If you do have any other questions or concerns about this, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to reply to you. But okay guys, that was that. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if I helped clear any of your concerns or answered any questions or anything, or if you just felt the need to give me a nice like. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the subscribe button to join our eternal pizza party and click the little bell so you get notified each and every week when I upload a video. But that was that guys. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a super duper fantastic day. Mwah.